بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين On behalf of Understand Quran Academy Hyderabad I would like to welcome you to our sixth session inshallah in which we will study Surah Al-Asr and also some more grammar and a learning tip So let us start with Surah Al-Asr أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر والعصر by the time إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرُ إِنَّ Indeed الإنسان Mankind لَفِي لَا is surely Indeed It is for emphasis لَا مزبا لَا is for emphasis لَفِي خُسْرُ فِي خُسْرُ فِي is in فِي خُسْرُ In loss خُسْرُ means loss لَفِي خُسْرُ is surely in loss Indeed Mankind is surely in loss Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving double emphasis. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْرُ إِلَّا Except الَّذِينَ Those who آمَنُوا Believed وَأَنْدْ عَمِلُوا And did الصالحات righteous deeds عملوا الصالحات did righteous deeds or done righteous deeds وتواصوا وأن تواصوا advised each other advised each other is تواصوا بالحق to the truth advised each other to the truth وتواصوا and advised each other بالصبر to patience so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that mankind is in loss except those who believed and done righteous deeds and advised each other to the truth and advised each other to patience. In this surah the point is emphasized four times. First of all Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is taking oath wal asr by the time. And then he says inna indeed إِنَّ الْإِنسَانِ Indeed mankind is لَا فِي خُسْرُ Again, لا is for emphasis. And then he says that mankind is in loss except, you know, if there are hundred students in a class and only five of them pass, I will not say that all students have passed except 95. No, I will say all have failed except five. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Mankind is in loss except those who have these four features, that means this is another grave warning. We should immediately say, I know, apply our formula, ask, evaluate, plan, propagate. So we'll say, Oh Allah, please help us save from loss and help us, you know, have good faith, perfect faith, and help us do righteous deeds and help us do, you know, advising to truth and patience. And whenever we ask, First of all, we should ask immediately. Why? I will give a beautiful example from Sahaba, uh, the, from the life of Sahaba radiallahu anhu. Once the Prophet sallallahu said, seventy thousand people will enter paradise without them being accounted for anything, without hisab. And Prophet sallallahu described the attributes of such people that they will have trust in Allah subhanahu wa taala and so on. At that point, one of the Sahabi, Ukasha radiallahu anhu, stood up. And he said, O Prophet of Allah, please pray for me that I be uh, among those. You see, Prophet ﷺ gave a news that 70,000 will enter paradise. Ukasha radiallahu anh, you know, in that news item, he saw as to where he stands. You know, he immediately tried to relate himself. And he immediately stood up and asked Prophet ﷺ to pray for him, to be among those people. And the Prophet ﷺ said, you are among those. At that point, another Sahabi stood up and he said, O Prophet of Allah, please pray for me too. And the Prophet ﷺ said, Ukasha has taken the lead over you. You see, now, whenever we listen, for example, such a surah in a gathering or any other verse where something is mentioned, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the hearts and minds of all of us immediately we should respond oh Allah please save me from loss and immediately we can ask you know in a sec in seconds we can say oh Allah please help me have good faith and help me do righteous deeds and uh, help me you know do this tawasib al-haq and tawasib al-sabr 
And whenever we pray for something, remember, after asking we have to evaluate. Remember the example of that student who cries to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for success in his studies but never goes to school nor opens a book. You will immediately say that he's he's joking with prayer or almost he's not sincere. And if he was sincere he would have done some studies. So similarly if we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with these four things Iman Am Salih Tawasib al Haq and Tawasib al Sabr, then we should also evaluate how is how is the condition of our Iman and our Amal? And Tawasib al Haq. How many people did I convey the message of Islam in the past week or in the past month? We should evaluate. And if we have done, Alhamdulillah, if not, immediately we should you know, say Astaghfirullah and, and plan and plan. Ask, evaluate, plan for tomorrow, next day, next week. How much time we are spending for this da'wah? How much money we are spending in this da'wah? And how much teamwork we are doing? Because you see, we have to uh, spread this message to 8 billion people, non-Muslims of this world, 7-8 billion on this planet. There are so many. You think we can do it individually? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing us as a collective you know, group. He says, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا He didn't say, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنَا Except the one who believed. No, he said, except those who believed. He's looking at us as a team. I'll just give you a simple example. If, you know, 100 of us are employed by a wonderful company and paid high salaries and our job is to execute tasks only and if our manager says, you know, in one year I want a 10-story building to be ready. What will we do? We'll go each one of us sitting in his office alone and, and trying to construct this 10-story building? This will never happen. Immediately we'll call a meeting. We'll say, okay, our boss has asked us to construct a 10-story building in one year, so who among us are engineers, architects, designers, planners, uh, accountants, and uh, whatever. And immediately we'll form a team and within 10 years we'll get that building constructed. Spreading Islam, Tawasib al Haq, and acting on Islam is much more demanding, much more demanding than constructing a 10 year uh, story building. How can we assume that if I sit in my house alone or pray to myself and, and do not cooperate, make a team and spread the work, we can achieve this thing? It cannot be. What is Haq? Tawasib al Haq. What is Haq? Everything that is in Quran and Hadith is Haq. So, what Tawasub al-Haq means, they have conveyed the message of Islam to others. And what Tawasub al-Sabr, and they advised each other to patience means, in following Islam, or whenever a, a problem is faced by someone, we say, please, you know, you know, have patience, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help you, will reward you, inshallah, will this thing will go away, don't worry, don't give up, and so on. So, this is this all these four attributes have to be there.